Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 2. I'm Koka Dragoon. In the last episode, we bungled our way through uh, <laughs> the first part of here. What are you doing getting off hitting me? You're supposed to be hit by my stuff. And now we're going to move on. Hopefully this episode we will finish up the rest of the Spirit Forge and get the power, the new elemental power, and we'll be able to, uh... Yes, yes, Ross, yeah, be surprised. And hopefully this time we'll be able to finish up the Spirit Forge, we'll get ourselves the next power, and we might be able to jump backwards in time so we can go meet Janos Aldrin. <laughs> and he can tell us everything we ever needed to know about anything. Clearly we need to get over into there. Towards the hair. Shadow there, I'm being shot at. And I'm being repulsed. Here. Except for the most annoying little buggers down there. Come on. There we go, my health's back up. Very, very slow, big job.
feel smart enough to duck this time around. down, one to go. Now for the dark, the Shriva. You know, at least to me, the Reaper in this game has always looked smaller than the last one with the light. I wonder if I passed you the first time. Why didn't you pop out so I could make use of this font? Here we go, third puzzle. And hopefully we can go backwards. And then back in time and then forwards so we can get to Yana's. Mummies in here. I'm well, just gonna have a certain item. That item is gonna be used to open that door. So when they come in here, we're gonna have all three of these mummies pop up. They have to kill this one mummy so that he can get this shield.
And there we go. Now we're basically on the free. If I can remember all my controls. <laughs> Alright, and then up here. says me! Alright, let's just keep going here. <laughs> Almost finished. Here, go down this hallway now. Almost finished. And then we have to travel back a little ways. So we can get back to the time streaming chamber that was in the swamp. Which, in case you guys can't have really guessed it at this point, is the Wind Reaper. Elemental power of wind, I think, technically. I think it makes one of Two of them that are very close, very similar to each other. They close the door on me. In you go.
As the Reaver drained the forge of its vital energy, the Tempest receded. I recovered myself, and paused to admire my newly forged weapon, now imbued with the elemental power of air. Air. Thus armed, I hope that I now finally possess the means to escape this wasted land. But more importantly, health upgrade! Just look at our health now, it's massive. game's not so subtle. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Guess what the Air Reaver can do? <laughs> Boom. What happens to the door? This Nobody elemental knows. Reaver I discovered had the power to obliterate barriers that were cracked or compromised. At last, I had the means to open that ruined time-streaming chamber I discovered so long ago in the swamp. Now, perhaps, I could leave this wasteland and return to an era when Janos Ordred still lived. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Leave me alone. Yeah. 
Save so point, please, and thank you. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. Uh, next time we'll make our way back to that ruined time streaming chamber. And then we will travel to wherever that time stream chamber is set. Hopefully to the time of Janos Audrin. So I will see you guys then. Take care.